is the second video that I've made about charging super caps. In the first one I used a coil of wire to charge them. Uh, I'll even admit that was a little primitive. Uh, this time what I've got here is and therefore vary the amps. I use that to uh, vary the resistance. Here is just a regular 12 volt lead acid uh, battery charger with the uh, with an engine starter as well. And um, on each one of these, there these are five uh, boost capacitors from Maxwell. They're uh, 2.5 volts each, 2600 farad. I have five of them in series. Should be able to handle 12.5 volts. So I'm going to charge them to 12 volts. When you're charging these, it doesn't matter what you give it. It only matters what it is. So you can see I'm at 0.03 volts right now. Always keep a meter on the capacitors so you don't over voltage them and wreck them. Also to help keep from over voltaging and reverse voltaging as they're discharging, I have balance resistors in series with each one of these and the value that I've chosen for this particular setup is 47 ohms but you can find a formula online by googling um, capacitor series balance resistor formula uh, you'll find some it's out there so basically what I'm gonna do is this guy's already plugged in I already have the negative terminal attached I'm gonna take the positive and we're gonna start out right about down here and attach it okay and this is a smart charger that is uh, very dumb so what we're gonna have to do is probably just give it a little juice to start out with this is so dead that the battery that the uh, charger thinks it's going to be shorted out even though that's not the case but to the circuit that's what it looks like so let's give it a little voltage here I'm just using a lead acid for that just to get it started alright now let's see if come on now let's see if the char battery charger will now work yeah, it does. Okay. So now that we have a little voltage, go ahead and attach this. You can see that I'm drawing um, a little over 7 amps. This charger can comfortably handle 10. I could probably push it to about 15. And in bursts, I, according to this, I can push it to 55 amps if I have it on the charge setting. charge setting uh, must give it more voltage because it also draws more amps given the same amount of resistance. You can see that it's drawing about 14 amps right now and as these come up to the voltage of this um, you'll notice that this needle will actually go down and it'll, it'll pull uh, less and less amps you can see that we've dropped uh, uh, just about maybe a fuzz under 13 amps in the wire the nichrome wire oh this is 18 gauge nichrome wire by by the way the nichrome wire isn't as bright if we wanted to speed this process a little more we could just slide this up a little bit Now we're drawing 15, a little under 15. And basically all I'm doing is just sliding this up the nichrome wire. That's reducing the resistance and it's pulling more amps. I'm trying to keep it within the range of this charger and that would be great. Of course we can always give it a couple of those for a little bit. Try not to let it 
touch the case or it will melt it. And once we get to about um, 12 volts, I'm going to shut this off. Once again, it could probably handle 12.5, but I don't want to risk over voltage. I hear that reduces the life of the capacitor um, quite substantially. Quite substantially? Substantially. All right, 12 volts. I always expect to lose a little bit um, over time and immediately after you disconnect it. And that's it. I think we were uh, just a little over eight minutes on that. Then, of course, uh, with the amount of energy we've stored, we could always dump it back into the nichrome wire. But at a uh, at a much higher amperage than we were able to deliver it. Oh, it just melted it. Oh, and it's gone. And it started a small fire.